Hello and welcome back to another Syncraft tutorial. I'm Abel, Product Specialist at Zeiss. Today we're going to show you what a natural tracking configuration is and the best practices for this type of setup. Selecting the natural tracking configuration option will put the system into a natural tracking mode. In this mode, Syncraft requires naturally occurring static features to work, and typically stable lighting conditions are required. The features it will use need to be fixed points within your environment. For example, features on the edges and corners of the desk here, or part of the lighting rig above me, would all work as natural features. You will get the best results with features that are closer to your camber. Ensure you have enough natural features and good coverage for best tracking results. The software does not track moving objects and you can improve results by avoiding moving objects or people directly in front of the camber. And remember, you can change the position of the camber according to your environment to get the best features for tracking. So let's jump into the software and create our natural tracking configuration. Within the trackings tab, we go to add tracking configuration and select natural markers. From here, we can name our configuration and select the camera and lens combination that we wish to use. And remember, this will be the initial calibration used, but you can change this freely once past this stage. We now hit save and activate. Once we reach the dashboard, the system will try to start tracking immediately. If it is unable to start tracking, it will enter recovery mode. The recovery prompt will indicate this. Typically, this is because the camera bar view is not optimized for the environment, but we can adjust our exposure and gain settings to facilitate this. If we try to reset tracking without adjusting the cam bar exposure and gain, and it fails, we will be directed to another prompt, which again will indicate the need to adjust our cam bar settings. Generally, we want to have clear visibility of the environment. As this is a new tracking configuration, a cam bar offset and alignment will need to be done. We can either do this via the prompt panel that you can see here, or via the normal dashboard. We can now run through our cam bar offset to calculate the physical position between our cam bar and the main camera. We will have a different tutorial to further show this process in more detail and in more challenging environments. Now we have completed the offset, we should see this physical position in our 3D dashboard. Next, we simply set our zero point. The zero point is a reference point that is set within scenario and this reference point will direct the render engine on where to base its content from. The zero point is often placed on the floor as it is easy to locate within scenario. If necessary, you can further adjust this within scenario or your render engine. We can now move on to setting our world alignment. This is where we change the position and orientation of our zero point within scenario. We can head over to the edit world alignment tab to start this process. We have a few options and tools to set your zero point. First, we have set zero point to feature point. This is the quickest and often easiest way to place a zero point when using natural features. We can simply click on a natural feature that has been identified by the cam bar. A yellow cone will indicate where you're going to place the zero point. Once selected, you will see the white cone aligned to this point. You should see that alignment in the cam bar feed and the main camera feed. Next, we have floor orientation. This allows us to adjust the floor plane along the X and Z axis, so we can tilt our zero point. Next, we have adjust floor height. When we place a zero point, we are essentially telling the system where the floor plane is. If we want to place the zero point on the floor, 
We could tilt the camera rig down to find a point on the floor, or we could take a measurement from the cam bar to the physical floor and offset this manually. We can also move our zero point across the floor plane. This simply allows us to move the zero point along the Z axis without having to adjust the height of our zero point. Next, we can fine tune the X and Y axis of our zero point to an exact position. And finally, we can fine tune the rotation of our zero point. Once happy with the position of the zero point, we can now save this alignment. Our setup for natural tracking is now complete and your tracking is up and running. So for more information, please visit our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank mm -hmm. you.